Hello everyone, welcome to Shorthand Battle. I am Divya and I am going to dictate you a general passage of 840 words at the speed of 135 words per minute. So get ready for the dictation. 3, 2, 1 and go. Mr. Deputy Speaker Sir, I stand here with a heavy heart because when this bill was being moved at that time I repeatedly sought the intervention of the Honorable Speaker stating that this bill was a new bill and it should be referred to the Standing Committee for consideration. I am of the opinion because on an earlier occasion also, the Honorable Finance Minister mentioned that the Standing Committee had deliberated for more than two years on this GST bill and did not need to go to the Standing Committee. This is a very different type of bill. It is a Constitution Amendment Bill, no doubt, but it is a different type of bill. It concerns respective states, respective state government revenues and it also concerns the central government revenue. It deals with tax and the basic structure of GST is that it will be a single point tax. That is why a lot of deliberations have taken place after the idea was mooted first in 2000 and subsequently in 2003 after the committee submitted its report. I am not going into all those details. There is another occasion when an amendment bill was referred to the standing committee for consideration and that is the company law amendment bill. The company law amendment bill was referred to the standing committee of finance for consideration after deliberation the committee submitted its report to the parliament and the government of the day took cognizance of a large number of suggestions and came out with a number of amendments. But subsequently government also came to know that other than the amendments suggested by the standing committee some new provisions were required because they also discussed with other stakeholders and some new provisions were also made in the company law amendment bill. When that bill was again brought before the house, some of us stood up and requested the speaker and subsequently the then speaker also spoke to the corporate affairs minister, Mr. Moi Lee, which is also a member of this house today and the government of the day took cognizance of the situation and referred the bill again to the standing committee of finance for reconsideration of the bill because it was a bill with new provisions and a lot of amendments it was referred again. So it is not that once a bill is referred to the standing committee it should not be referred to the committee again. To prove that point I gave you the instance of the company law amendment bill which was referred to the committee a second time and the committee also gave its report. Sir, I would urge that the GST bill is a path breaking bill, it is a game changer, it is a constitution amendment bill. Therefore, I would again request and impress upon the government to reconsider its stand. This is a new bill. There are a number of provisions in this bill which were not deliberated by the standing committee earlier. The empowered committee, of course, with the state finance ministers has taken many issues into consideration. Parliament, of course, will consider while we will be discussing on this aspect when this bill is taken up for consideration and passing. But the standing committee is losing its relevance. In today's newspaper, a news item has come out as to what happened during the last one year. A number of bills and the number is given around 51 bills and ordinances were moved by the government. Many of them have not been referred to the standing committee. Hardly 8 bills have been referred to the standing committee. 
I would not ask the question whether the government is thinking to make the standing committee redundant but the manner in which we are moving gives a wrong signal as if the standing committee is not required. It will lose its relevance. My impression may be wrong but many a time we have seen at least on two occasions whether it may be coal or it may be mines and minerals that select committees have been formed in the other house and within a small time frame a mandate was given you submit a report and we will consider. That is how the select committees are being formed before the standing committee came into existence perhaps select committee was the practice that was before 1993 to 94 but here is an issue where the members of parliament through standing committee can deliberate if you have not referred it during the month of december or january still i would say there is the time give a specific time period to the standing committee we have monsoon session coming up in the month of july so in the first week of july that time frame can be given by the direction of the speaker here is a bill before us which we will be deliberating but it will be better if you refer it to the standing committee the standing committee's views are not mandatory on the government they are suggestive in nature stop